The first upgrade I made to the Quest 2 was the head strap and I bought the Elite strap and initially I loved it, but sure enough after four months it fractured on one of the connectors that joins to the headset. I've tried several alternative head straps since, but this upgraded Kiwi Design head strap is by far the best so far. And a quick shout out to Kiwi Design for sending me this, now let's look at the features that make this strap more elite than the Elite strap itself. The Kiwi Design strap and the Elite strap do look very similar. The Elite strap has a smoother, sleeker, all-in-one finish to it, but that's mainly due to the Kiwi strap having this hinge here, which we'll look at in a minute. The installation of the Kiwi strap is simple. In the box, you have two parts, the rear pad with the attached top strap, and then the main plastic arms that attach to the headset itself. So first of all, remove the facial interface that you're currently using on the headset. Now gently twist off the plastic connectors that attach to the headset. Unfasten the Velcro strap and remove it from this slot here. Now thread the Kiwi strap through the slot and attach the Velcro. Place the arms of the head strap in place and then gently push them onto each side of the headset. And then slot the padding in place here and gently click it together. And now simply put back the facial interface on the headset and you're ready to go. The Kiwi head strap is more substantial than the Elite strap with thicker connecting arms and a much wider plastic support at the back. And this does make it marginally heavier, but it is still super lightweight. However, it's also more substantial in the padding that it has with a padded top strap and also a thick padded rear head support. And the Elite strap has no padding in either of these areas. And the padding is made from PU leather and is super soft and really comfortable. Both headsets have the rear arm length adjustment and the Kiwi head strap is a lot quieter to adjust, but this is a minor benefit. Other than the padding, the killer feature is the hinge here, because this means you can lift the rear of the head strap to remove it without having to adjust the wheel. And it also means you can keep the headset on and flip up the front and then come back to the real world for a few minutes without having to take the headset off. And I find this really useful when I'm making videos for this channel because I can flip the top up when I'm doing a game review. I can make a few notes and then just flip the top down again. I also have the halo strap which has the hinge design but I found for some games it just slips down too much. In the Climb 2 for example when you're looking down a lot the headset just slips away from your face. With the Kiwi design hinge it kind of locks itself into two positions. So you've got the up position here and then obviously the down position here and it doesn't move. The major selling point from Kiwi Design is just how tough this strap is. Look, you can twist it, bend it, and it just doesn't seem to break. And I wouldn't want to try that with the Elite strap. I've been using this Kiwi Design head strap for a couple of months now, and I really can't state enough how much more fun and comfort you get when you upgrade your head strap from the standard Oculus strap. The padding makes a huge difference, and the design of the headset pulls the weight of the headset backwards so it's more evenly distributed on your head. And if you want even more comfort when you're playing your Quest 2, you want to watch this video next, which looks at the Kiwi Design facial interface. And that's this one that you've seen me using in this video. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.